Hello folks and welcome back to Star Citizen. So, this time I'm going to do something a bit different. As you can see here, I have an Anvil Terrapin, which is another ship you don't see very often. Now, there's reasons for that, but uh, I did buy one because I, I like checking out these ships that I don't see flying around the verse very often, and this is one of them. Now, this one is classified as a support Pathfinder ship, and uh, oh, I'm going to freeze uh, the death out here if I'm not quick, so let's hurry up. So anyways, yeah, it's a, it's kind of a bizarre looking ship, but I do like it so far. It's got, uh, I've got a couple neutron repeaters on the front here. And uh, this thing does uh, VTOL mode, which is what it's in right now. Vertical takeoff and landing, and uh, as well as normal flight mode. Just give you a walk around here. Now I can't actually see it from the outside and I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, but there's actually a third weapon. Like this thing only has two weapons. I have two gimbaled weapons on the front, but it actually has a third weapon. Um, let me go inside before I freeze to death. Did not come prepared. As you can see, there's this really cool ramp that you get in with, as opposed to using a ladder like a lot of ships. So anyways, this is the main cabin in the back here. There's a support seat here, which has a, um, it's got a uh, scanner that I'm not entirely sure how to use yet. I was using this thing for some monitor missions and it seemed like wherever I pointed this scanner, it was scanning, um, but I can't be sure about that. I kind of, uh, from what I see, there's also this bar. I'm not sure if you can see that that goes up and down. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing maybe scan range. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. But it seems like wherever I had this pointed in front of the ship was where my scanner was working. I'm not entirely sure how to, if that's correct or not. I've just started using this, so. Uh, yeah, anyways. So yeah, it doesn't have a turret, but like I said, it has a, a slot for a weapon that I, turn off. It has a slot that uses a fixed weapon that I can't actually see from the outside, so I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Uh, back here you got uh, access to the power plant. Some of these are locked, like the radar uh, thing and this one for life support. Got a bed here, and there's actually a decent sized little shower, toilet, sink, bathroom in the back, which uh, was kind of surprising. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, it says entry panel, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to be an escape hatch in the future or something, but uh, you got a couple weapon racks here. Can I get at the coolers and stuff on either side right here? And you got some more locked stuff. And you got the cockpit. But yeah, uh, this thing, like I said, you don't see them um, flying around very often. I think part of that's because this thing costs 2.5 million Alpha UEC, and it's a support Pathfinder ship, and there's not a lot of utility for it yet. I guess this thing does kind of work, but I just can't think of any gameplay loops specifically tailored for this ship that are really in the game yet. I did spend some money upgrading it. Let me just show you what I have, because, you know, I figured why not put some good parts on it and actually see what it can do. And I've used this thing in combat to fight other ships and stuff, and it doesn't do bad, probably because of the neutron repeaters on the front. Neutron cannons, pardon me. So I put a Colossus Quantum Drive in it. It's not the fastest drive, but it does have a huge range and it's really good on fuel, so I can go from, you know, the other one side of the system to another. And this one has three size one coolers on it, which is interesting. So I put three Ultra Flow coolers in there. One size two power plant, I have a JS400, and one size two shield generator, and I have an FR76. And as you can see, I've got two and then 14 cannons, and it says turret weapon slot two. This was empty when I got the ship, and I put, I originally uh, didn't know it worked. I just equipped a Gatling gun to it, just for the hell of it. And uh, I got into a fight and realized that the gimbaled weapons were firing, you know, independently, and then there was a Gatling gun shooting like a fixed weapon. So I put a FL-33 cannon there, just because I had one. So yeah, not sure if that's intentional. Anyways, uh, I figured, We'd go do some Anvil Terrapin stuff. I'm not exactly sure what that means. It's not really meant for combat. It's meant to be kind of like a scout ship, I guess. So let me see if we got any missions that uh, we can sort of improvise as a Terrapin. 
specific thing. Now this thing is nuts. It has eight MFDs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight MFDs on it, which is awesome. In fact, you can see uh, a few of them are doubled, but uh, yeah, that, I thought that was pretty cool. I like the cockpit too. It kind of reminds me of like a ship I f used to fly in No Man's Sky or something. It's, it's just, uh, it definitely looks like a support ship, but uh, I don't know. There's just something I like about it. You can see the scanner dome or whatever on the top here. I still don't know where that other weapon is. I can't see it anywhere. So that's kind of weird. Another thing that's weird about it is it seems like sometimes the third weapon doesn't fire and it just randomly starts working again. Oh, and uh, if I didn't mention it already and you didn't notice, this thing has no missiles. Uh, let's see what we got we can do. Missing person. That sounds like something you might do in a Pathfinder ship. Constellation wreck. All right, let's see where it is. Kind of improvising here because, okay, it's out in space. That'll work. Because obviously there's, I mean, I could see this maybe being, here, let me show you the VTOL. Gear up. I could see this being part of a fleet as a support ship going forward, you know, scouting out areas and stuff. Otherwise, it's kind of just a expensive starter ship. I mean, you can hold some good uh, shields and stuff, but it's not too, uh, not too heavy on weaponry. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you could put boxes and stuff in it, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be used as, you know, part of a fleet. So, yeah, we're just gonna kind of do odds and ends with it, kind of like that Aquila video. Just whatever seems appropriate. I may sw uh, swap out the Quantum Drive. I usually get a Colossus if I can't get an XL1 just because it has a huge range and it's really good on fuel, but it's not that fast. It's, uh, I think it's faster than the default, but anyways. One other oddball ship that I bought that's another one that is missing a purpose in the game is I bought a Drake Herald since last time. I've flown that before briefly during a uh, free flight thing, and it's just a, such a bizarre ship, and I never see them flying around, probably because they kind of suck, but, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it so far, even though I put some good guns and components on it, and I was doing combat with it and stuff. Nothing nuts, but, you know, combat. I'm gonna see if we can get, like, a planet side mission to go down and check out a wreck or something. After we do this. Okay, there you go. The red one is the FL-33, so it's actually firing now, but I have to turn off the gimbal. Otherwise, you know, it goes like this. There, see it? The blue being the uh, neutrons. The other one stays in the middle, so if I turn it off... It's... it's bizarre. But what that means is it actually hits pretty hard, and it's a decently nimble ship. It's not that big. It's also got pretty decent lights on it. Uh, some ships just have really terrible, you know, headlights off the front, but this one isn't bad. Let's go find this guy real fast. Poor Connie. Alright. So you could sit a few people in this because, you know, someone could sit here and you can also just sit on the bed. You don't have to lay down. Um, you know, you could have people stand around too, but uh, anyways. Watch the engines. You'll look at her from orbit here. From EVA, rather. Definitely, yeah, it looks like a turtle. It's our little station up here. Who knows where that other cannon is? Maybe we can go down below it here and take a look. Maybe I just didn't see it before. Great, my flashlight's not working. That's always good. Love it when that happens. No, I don't, uh... Anyways. Not him. I could salvage these boxes. They're just, they're more trouble than they're worth, to be honest. I'm trying to go sell them. Not him. All right, 
by the uh, bridge in here. Look, like there's anybody home, but there is someone out front. And up above. I always love doing these EVA missions. No? Further back. Oh! Whoa! That came out of nowhere. Holy hell. I don't have any med pens on me right now because every single place you go to right now, um... You can either only buy one or you can only buy two. Or you can't buy any. So, yeah, that's been nice. It's floating junk. Check around back. It's always spooky going into these things in the dark. Very spooky. Can't see anyone else. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can see this is where the beds would be. It's like the escape pods uh, were used. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. All right, we're in. Beeping. Faintly, I think. Unless I'm hearing things. Okay, there's a guy way out here. Please be the guy I'm looking for. Otherwise, I'm not sure where else to look. You know, I should be using my tractor beam attachment to pull this stuff around, but... Really? Sometimes these missions... are frustrating. Okay, we got... Wait, that's the cockpit. We already checked those guys. Oh! Somehow I didn't check that one guy. I think he just disappeared. That was weird. Well, at least we found him. Okay, cool. Yeah, I really like the fact that this thing is not a ladder to get into the ship. You can just walk right in. It's awesome. It's not some awkward knocking collar that you knock yourself over on. Okay, well, what else we got? Locate the remains of a recently lost vessel, extract its flight recorder from the wreckage, and deliver the black box to Tisa Spaceport. It's one for the crew of a freelancer. Let's see where this brings us. I've never done one of the black box ones, probably because I have to land at Hurston and go to the spaceport carrying the box, and that's a pain in the ass. But I kind of want to land on a planet with this thing. If only my Moby Glass would actually work. They really need to fix the star map. Sometimes it just doesn't open at all. Really frustrating. Open it and close it 900,000 fuck. Okay, there we go. Derelict site on Hurston. Is it close to anything is the question. Pretty close to, um, HDSF Barnabas. Never been over there. All right. Let's do it. I will do some combat in this. Nothing crazy, but I will show you. But I've been doing so much, like I said in the, in the, uh, Aquila video, I do so much Space combat and FPS combat grinding money that sometimes I just want to chill out and do random things. Which is why we're doing this. And uh, call me crazy, but I actually kind of miss doing box missions. They just don't pay well enough. But, uh, you know, nice and relaxing. Trading is still kind of screwed, so. I was planning on doing mining this episode, I just really don't feel like it. I've been getting lots of 30ks and stuff lately, and I just don't feel like spending three or four hours to go do that. Just to get disconnected and lose everything right now, so... I'll wait for some day where the servers are better. That'll get us a little closer. We are gonna have to fly an Atmo for a while, but that's alright. I, I... Yeah, I've never been over to this one before. It's not a HDMS spot, so we don't want to get too close. Don't want to get a trespassing fine or crime stat. From what I hear, um, I haven't been to prison in a while, but from what I hear right now, the mining is messed up. So you have to do these other missions, which you don't always get to get merits to get out. So I don't want to go to prison. Don't want to trespass. Let's just turn left. It's going to be a bit of a flight, but that's all right. Look at it here in the daylight. That'd be a little thing. Space turtle. Oh, uh, also since last time I've bought a Anvil Ballista. 
which is the, uh, you know, anti-aircraft military ground vehicle, the one that's, uh, famously doesn't fit many ships that are in the game right now. Certainly none that I own. I want to, uh, try to figure out a way to do some sort of episode messing around with the ground vehicles in a way that's more than just driving around in circles. But <laughs> last night I took the ballista out from New Babbage and I just drove it across the uh, frozen lake for about an hour and a half. Just trying to get out of the uh, armistice zone, I guess. And I also bought a Origin 300i, which I've used in a video on here before, but it was rented before. This one I actually upgraded and used it in some combat and stuff, and it's not bad. I just got it so that I could have a luxury ship that I could uh, go mess around with, chill, just cruise with. I think maybe next time, I, I hate to plan ahead like this, but I, I want to do a video with the uh, Drake Herald. Obviously, data running is not in the game yet, but uh, I think we can probably improvise and do some things you might do with a ship like that. It's such an awkward ship. It's like a, an engine with a cockpit on it. It's got these hilarious little, like, T-Rex arm wings on it. You probably, if you're familiar with Star Citizen, you've probably seen it. It's one of those uh, ships that kind of no one has a use for. It's really, really fast. When you're flying straight forward, it's like the fastest ship in the game. But uh, the gameplay loop is just not in yet, data running. But uh, that's one of the reasons I got it. Kind of like this one. I just don't see him flying around very much. Or at all, for that matter. Unless it's a free flight event. I haven't brought the Mako out yet either. But I'm trying to figure out if there's an actual way to use the camera on it that I haven't found out yet. Before I do anything with that. Finally seeing through some of the haze here. See, Hurston actually has water. When I, um... Well, that's a nice shot. <laughs> when I, uh, took the the picture for the thumbnail of the uh, Constellation Aquila video, I was out on this little landfill island off the coast of, um, it was over by HDMS Edmund or something like that. But anyways, I walked into the water and just died immediately. You know what? Let's just go down below the smog layer here. I'm gonna go slower, but see some more of the water. Pretty cool. One of the things, um, recently on ISC, or, uh, Inside Star Citizen was showing rivers and stuff, actual flowing rivers on planets. I'm not sure when we're gonna get that, but, uh, it's cool, I guess. Now you just need to give us fishing poles. One other thing I was- I'm, I'm sorry for taking so long to get here, I'm just trying to get some thoughts out while I'm on the way. One of the thing I thought of the other day that I think would be really cool is if they put some, like, outposts on planets that are like places you can sell, like get food, get armor, weapons, maybe buy ships. Some, you know, open air, like settlements, basically. I think that would be a really cool addition. I'm not sure if that's planned or not. I don't keep up on all the stuff with Star Citizen. I just find the highlights. But I think that would be really cool. Give you more of a reason, you know? Maybe make some missions where you deliver boxes from one settlement to another and stuff like that with, you know, NPCs on the planets, people's houses and whatnot. That'd be awesome. Look at that. Things like this are why I love Star Citizen. You can start to see more of the junk all over this planet. There is just trash everywhere on this planet. It's much more prevalent than it used to be. Everywhere you go, there's just rusted metal and heaps of trash everywhere. We're almost there, finally. That took a lot longer than I thought it would have, or thought it was going to, but yeah, I should have gone out of Atmo to get over here. Getting dark. See it now. Forget what it. Yeah, Freelancer. Okay. Definitely scenic. Put down here, I guess. Landing complete. Just leave it on. The likelihood of someone else being over here is extremely low. Hurston is a really cool planet to go around on foot on. Flashlight's still not working. That's nice. Let's try to hurry this up. 
You know, the good thing about these missions is you get money no matter how many you find. As long as you find some of them. Holy hell, look at that. I love this game. Two. Check inside before it gets too dark. Just, just look at this. Okay. Just trash. A little bit of grass here, but... Boxes. Aft is way over there. It's gonna get dark on me. You know, I guess I could take my armor off. And, uh, my headlamp might work. Of course they're not inside the ship. Why would they be? Where are these guys? You know what, hold on. Thankfully on Hursting we're fine without armor. There we go. Got my... <laughs> got my little helmet. Nope, that didn't work. Here's one. Uh, maybe I'll try putting the armor back on now. <sighs> Stupid flashlight still not working. Okay, well I've only found three. You hear that? That music, or sounds like it's coming from the ship. Probably unlikely I'm going to find all these guys unless I spend the next hour down here. If it was daytime, it would be one thing if I'd have got here faster. Is it really not another one inside? Sometimes they bug out and they spawn inside of the walls of the ship and stuff, so... Not a lot you can do about that. I suppose I could get into the Terrapin and I thought I turned the light on, but I didn't and uh, hover, see if I see anyone that way. What we need is like, a, we need like some sort of scanner to like search for, you know, well, dead bodies. Okay, before I get impatient and give up here, let's get into the ship for a minute. Thought I turned the light on, I guess not. There we go, much better. Let's do some Looking around here. The thing is, they're probably just in the grass somewhere. I kind of hate to come all this way to... Spend all that time to not find them all, but I mean... I guess it's okay. I've been looking around for a while and I just don't see anyone else, so... <sighs> I guess that's all she wrote. That's too bad. Oh well. We got some money. Let's get out of here. Landing here. Great. Okay, we don't have any monitor missions over here we can go do. I'm kind of curious about, um, uh, the, the one I was going to do with the black box just disappeared. I don't want a bounty hunt. I mean, we could probably do a, a you know, low risk target, but it seems like sort of something you don't do <laughs> in a terrapin. Wow, that's a lot. For an ECN alert? That's gonna be multiple ships, though. I might die doing that. You know what? Hell with it. Let's go do that. <laughs> the uh, price makes me think it's gonna be difficult. So I think this might be a mistake, but hey, we die, so what? Okay, there is a beacon. I've done these before, but I've always done them in fighters. Uh... Let's just go ahead and overclock this stuff. Now, I, I did get a comment on the um, Aquila video about, you know, you can just overpower is going to be better and all that, but right now I'm just going to overclock. So yeah, with overpowering, especially with weapons, you're not going to overheat as fast, but you know, just, I try to only fire when I'm actually going to hit anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I don't need a constant hail of bullets. I might have to wait for this to actually spawn in. There's the friendly. What is it? Andromeda. So where's all these bad guys? <laughs> this guy's probably like, oh, we're saved. Hey, if anyone can hear this, I'm being attacked and things are looking pretty dire over here. A damn sh** you something else and I mean that.
extremely, extremely nimble little fighter versus Terrapin. Doesn't have much HP, but... Trouble's gonna be hitting it, you see that? Hate that. Ah, oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Trying to fight these guys with our janky desync. See, like, what the hell is that? They really need to fix this. Try not to shoot the friendly. One of these days I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh my. What a nightmare. Wish I had some missiles. Screw you, buddy. Dude, it's so unnatural. Some of these should be hits and they're just not hitting. That's nice. I should just gimbal it, but... Trying to hit with all three. Shit. There we go. Okay. Cutlass Black. This should be a little easier to fight. Should. Closer. Hitting him. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that they were not going after me. Yeah, that guy was screwed. Oh well. Sorry. We'll just fight him, anyways. Another black. Ah, that's so irritating. Allegedly, this is getting fixed in 3.12.1. I certainly hope so. Shit. No ship maneuvers like that. Messed up. There we go. Last guy, another Cutlass Black, man. They already did what they came here to do, though. Yeah, he was just sitting there. Okay, well, we failed the mission. <laughs> the poor Connie uh, was rendered to the deep black void of space, but, you know. We did kill those other ships, including a buck. And I'm 
trying to land somewhere where the turrets are shooting at a hostile. This is good. Go over their fire, huh? I'm not sure what they're shooting at. Probably some player. I'm gonna act like it's not happening. How about that? Who is that? Oh. <laughs> Uh, whatever it was, it's dead. There has been hostile AI showing up at stations sometimes. Maybe that's what that was. Anyways, there's nothing else really ideal for me to go do right now with the Terrapin, but you get the idea. Like I said, I like the ship. It's, uh, it's not got a ton of different uses, but you can do a decent amount of stuff with it. You can grind money with it pretty easily. I'm sure box missions would be easy and stuff like that. It, uh... It's a uh, specific purpose is not really a thing at the moment, but anyways, it was fun flying around with it. Yeah, I guess that'll do it for now. I think next time I maybe want to do a video with the Herald because it's another ship you don't see and it's kind of, you know, somewhat useless. We'll see. Not sure yet. But anyways, that'll do it for now. So I will see you guys next time. Make it easy.